Curry chawal is a popular dish in northern and western India. Curry usually has a thick consistency using besan, dahi and pakora. This food has several regional variations in India. Today I will make a spicy chatpata curry for you. As ingredients of pakora, I have taken 1 cup of besan for making 10 to 12 pieces of pakora. This is the basic ingredient. I will mix with this spoon after adding half teaspoon of salt and 1 fourth teaspoon of haldi powder. If you are going to make plain pakora, then add water to it and mix very well. Plain pakora is added in Rajasthani curry. But here I will add some veggies to it. Here I am adding finely chopped green chilli, chopped coriander leaf, and chopped onion. Onion is not very finely chopped here. You can add any other vegetable of your choice. Mix it first before adding water because there is always some amount of moisture in the vegetable pieces. So add water accordingly. After mixing, the consistency should be like this. Now fry 10 to 12 small pakora out of it. Heat the oil and add little portions one by one. I have used refined oil but mustard oil can also be used to add a tangy taste to the curry. Once the oil is hot enough, reduce the flame to medium. Fry the pakora till the color becomes golden brown. It will take 5 to 7 minutes. Pakoras are ready. Ingredients for the gravy. 1 cup of curd should be very sour in taste. Besan half cup. Salt half teaspoon. Red chilli powder half teaspoon, 1 teaspoon whole mixture masala made of methi, jeera and dhania, hing 1 fourth teaspoon, 2 cups of water, few curry leaves, 10 to 12 cloves of garlic and little ginger, 2 dry red chillies. If you don't have curry leaves, you can use coriander leaf for garnishing. Curd is taken in a bowl which is whipped thoroughly. Basin is added to it and mixed very well. Mix it to get a smooth texture. No lumps should be there. After mixing, add salt, turmeric powder, and red chilli powder one by one. Texture of the curry depends on your mixing. A bright color appears. Now add two cups of water and mix again. After frying the pakora, I am using the same oil but it is reduced in quantity to 2 tablespoons. Masala mixture is added to the hot oil. This mixture contains whole methi, jeera and dhania, half teaspoon each. Whole masala is fried in oil for 30 seconds and removed from the pan to maintain the smoothness of the gravy. Dry red chilies, 
वन फोर्थ टी स्पून ऑफ हेंग एंड फ्यू करी लीव आर एडेड टू दिल Now add ginger garlic paste and fry for 1 minute on low flame. I have taken 10 to 12 cloves of garlic along with little ginger and made the paste. In some parts of India, onion and garlic are not used at all in the curry. But in Punjabi curry, you will find the spicy flavor of garlic. fry on low flame once you get the aroma of fried spices add the mixture of dahi besan and water to it Again, stir a little. After stirring for two minutes, add half cup of water again to dilute the gravy, and let it boil for another one minute. Now add all the pakoras to it and keep on stirring continuously for 8 to 10 minutes on low flame. The pakoras will absorb water and the gravy will be thickened. The fried mixed masala which was removed from the oil is grinded to make a smooth paste half teaspoon of this paste is added at this stage to enhance the flavor of the gravy you will get a mouth watering aroma of methi jeera and dhania while cooking and that's all curry chawal is ready curry is served with white plain rice You can also serve it with jeera rice or plain roti. Thanks for watching.